Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Yeah, welcome to the DuPont Registry Tampa Bay live program on Tuesdays at one o'clock normally, yeah, except for when we're broadcasting from someplace else other than here. We are located again at DuPont Registry World International Headquarters, right off of Elmerton Road on Tech Drive. You can't miss us. You need to come by and see us. Before we get started on today's show, let me remind uh, everybody looking in that we do have cars and coffee this coming Saturday from 7 to 9 in the morning. You come show up with uh, four or 500 other car lovers that are in their cars, everything from Ferraris to street rods, you name it, 7 to 9 in the morning. You can go home, do your chores, uh, clean up, do your honeydew projects, go play golf. You can do anything you want, but you need to be at Cars and Coffee. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Rolls Royce, Street Rods, 57 Chevy Bel Air, you name it, it's there. Enough of that commercial. Let's get down to the important part. We are delighted to uh, uh, welcome Emily from the Golden Diamond Source with her own actual line of jewelry, it's just come out. How long has it been out, Emily? Yep, it's been out for about a year now. A year? Yeah. Why am I so behind the time? <laughs> I'm not sure. We've been advertising it so much recently now that's really picking up. Good, so. good. So you all know the Golden Diamond Source, and you know Julie, and this Julie's daughter, Emily. <laughs> and somehow she wrangled in to say, well, I need my own line of jewelry, and I need it aimed at a younger, yeah. um, more millennial-style um, uh, people that are going to deal with a different kind of jewelry than some tycoon who brums in and buys a $250,000 diamond for his, uh, uh, for his wife for their 50th anniversary. Yeah, definitely, because I saw just the need for it because our store has so much inventory, as everyone knows, but I didn't really, there wasn't really much of a niche for trendy modern jewelry, so this is where I came in and brought this line. And update it. So have you started to outsell the rest of the jewelry in the store yet? No, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully one day I can do that, but not quite yet. Well, everybody knows where the Golden Diamond Source is. It's located on Almerton Road, mm -hmm. uh, and it's actually in St. Petersburg, like we are, because we're on the mm -hmm. south side of the yeah. road. Yeah. On the north side of the road, you're in Clearwater. Clearwater, yeah. yeah. Easy to find, and you've all seen Julie and Steve on TV early in the morning, uh, along with all the car dealers, um, uh, with a news broadcast. You see them in the afternoon everywhere, yeah. and- Emily, I think you're making a couple of ads now, right? Yeah, I've been doing gems with them. So that's where I basically educate people on gemology because I am a gemologist. I graduated from GIA. And so I just can give people um, knowledge that is factual. I see a lot of people, you know, teaching about gemology, but a lot of things aren't true that they're saying. And I just want to make sure everyone knows the truth. So you can uh, get those commercials and get those lectures on YouTube or anything like that? Yes. Yeah, so I'm actually starting a blog that will be up and uh, running in about a month now. So I'll be oh, doing a wonderful. post about that. A blog that. so that I'm, yeah. I'm sure that my wife will, and especially my three daughters will get on, learn <laughs> something about jewelry, send yeah. it to me in case I need a reminder. <laughs> of course. So the big holiday's coming up here. So I'm glad you're all tuned in today. Let's not forget right now, right now, that the most important thing is what happens on the 14th of February. Yes. And do you have a special gift for that one person in your life that you wanted to get a Valentine's Day present? You need to go to the Golden Diamond Source and find Emily Johnson Weintraub's jewelry line called yes. Emily. Link. Emily. Mm -hmm. oh, wonderful. It's just, it's a, I, the minute I saw the name, I remembered what it was right yeah. away. Yeah. It's a, did you trademark that? Not yet. You no one better. steal it. <laughs> um, my brother, Chris, actually came up with it because I wanted my name to be part of it. Um, but I obviously didn't want it to be just like Emily Johnson's line. So luckily I found something that kind of fit. It's mm -hmm. terrific. So yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about what the price range is and what the knowledge is so that somebody can think about what their, maybe what their budget is before they walk through the door. Yeah, so a lot of our pieces are between 100 to um, $8.99, $9.99. We like to keep it very affordable so you can come in quickly, grab it and go. You won't break your bank, which is kind of the point of my line because I used to actually always wear jewelry, but when I was younger, it wasn't always real because I was always afraid of losing it. Um, but now that I've gotten older, I wish I would have invested in actual pieces I could have been stacking over time. So I kind of want this for like high schoolers and even adults to stack with their wedding bands. A lot of people have been doing like they have a white gold wedding ring and do yellow gold bands. So just something um, everyone can. Okay, so like. what's special for um, uh, for uh, what do we got here? Valentine's Day coming up. Yes. So we got something with hearts on it or anything? I mean, oh, of course. Of we course. have um, this pendant right here that has a heart on it. We have some bigger ones also at the Golden Diamond Source. You want to come 
check us out. Yeah, you can step um, it up by something a little larger because your yes. budget's a little bigger. Mm -hmm. And then we have this ring right here. It's a little heart ring and it's actually open. So this is very nice. If you don't know her ring size, gold's very soft. So you can actually bend the gold in and out. So right. it can fit to any finger that she wears. It's one of my favorite pieces, especially if you're What a great idea. This has a little gap there where you yeah. can open it up. Didn't we used cool. to have those on the things you got in the Cracker Jack box and it was open on the bottom of you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's They were the made top. out of plastic. It would pinch your finger and it hurt. Yeah. yeah this looks hurt. much safer. <laughs> mm -hmm, earrings? Definitely. Yes. So we have earrings. I believe it's on this chair here. Right here, there's some earrings. Um, we also have smaller ones, too, at the store and bigger ones. And we also have a threader on there with a heart, too. The threaders are good because you can never lose those. Actually, um, one of our clients, she bought one for her 9-year-old daughter because she was so afraid of her losing her earrings, and the threaders will never come out because it dangles down. Got it. Yeah. Well, that sounds very easy. So mm -hmm. what's what's the most popular in the, in the $100 to $900 range? Have you got something that everybody says, oh, yeah, I want one of those? Oh, my ear, the earrings is what everyone loves, especially a lot of uh, women have the second hole piercings. So a lot of uh, women will actually get these earrings right here to put in their second hole. Um, and the rings as well. When the gift card match is going on, they, you can get a great deal in that range for the rings. So what's trendy here? White gold, rose gold, plain gold? Yellow gold's Yellow really gold. trending right now. Yellow yeah. gold is trending right mm -hmm. now. You know, that's Everyone. like paint in your houses. The color of the year right now is some kind of blue. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I, that doesn't mean I'm repainting Yeah, my is house. that you're repainting yours? <laughs> But I could easily get another piece of jewelry for one of the girls uh, yeah. uh, or, or my wife. So um, any of this aimed towards anniversaries or anything? Yeah. So actually the bands, this is our top seller, the bands that we have, because everyone loves to stack them as I have on my finger here. And a lot of engaged people who are engaged or married, they use them as their wedding bands. So they'll have anniversaries. They'll get a second one or a third one or even put one um, on their pointer finger. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at what we have here. Back in the store, I know somebody in the store has plenty of bangle bracelets. Do you, right. do, you do bangle bracelets with Emily? Yeah. So actually right here I have some bangle bracelets. Wonderful. Um, I love stacking them. That's my favorite. Bangle bracelet stacked is just classic. Um, that looks like if you were wearing that, you couldn't get through security at the airport. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, they, they are so popular now. Bangles and uh, stackable rings is what's in. Okay. So bangles, what's the price range for bangles? Bangles, so the more diamonds, the more expensive it's going to be, but around like 600 to to 1000 So Okay. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted diamonds all the way around, I can go to two, three, four, five, six thousand. 6000 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emeralds. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. What's the, I mean, uh, diamonds are expensive, obviously. What's yeah. the most expensive gemstone besides diamonds? Um, Rub rubies, emeralds, Ale sapphires? Alexandrite would Alexandrite. have to be one of the most expensive, especially if you get a high... Qu Do you know what Alexandrite is? I was just going to say, what color is that? Yeah, so Alexandrite is actually a color-changing gemstone. So it's green by day and red by night. So it changes colors depending on the light source, which is really nice. But it's hard to find one that will actually naturally do that. A lot of them are actually made synthetic. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, synthetic ones. So if I spot one that I really got to have, I need to go to the golden diamond source and say, is this real or oh, is definitely. this synthetic? Yeah, ask for Emily. I can tell you. <laughs> Emily can tell me. Good. So um, most popular stones is the same thing. The um, emeralds more popular than rubies. Yeah, I mean, the big three, so that's emerald, rubies, and sapphires are the most popular because that's what's most known. A lot of video games have. Everyone just knows what those three are. Um, so a lot of people do go to those. I mean, there are a lot other gemstones that are a lot prettier, in my opinion, than those. <laughs> like the Alexandra, I mean, how cool that it color changes. How about Tanzanite? Um, oh, Tanzanite, yeah, that's actually pretty popular. A lot of the birthstones, every month during a birthstone, uh, we could get a lot of clients coming in asking for those. Okay, it's February. Mm -hmm. Birthstone for February? Uh, amethyst. Amethyst. Yeah, so the purple, oh, the purple, the purple quartz. I got mm -hmm. it. Uh... And I'm surprised, see, I didn't, I'm surprised they didn't do a pink stone for um, February. For yeah, you purple. would think so. Yeah. Well, maybe the birthstone came before Valentine's, yeah. before somebody got all mushy about Valentine's. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the, the, the deal is you don't go to, to Walgreens and get a card. Go to the Golden Diamond Source and get a ring, a pendant, uh, uh, a bangle bracelet, an earring. And what do we have on these rings here? Is that a special uh, edition? Yes. So all my stuff is very affordable, and so is this ring. So I'm actually wearing it right now. So this is a lot of diamonds, and just is a very big look for the price point. It's around a thousand. It's one 
uh, $1,200, um, but it's just such a big classic ring. I mean, if you give it to your girl or whoever, they will definitely look at it every time and just think of you. Okay, so, so um, I'm looking at the Emmylink stuff here. Where's the Emmylink for guys? I mean, don't you have some kind of a... <sighs> Man bracelet, I, man I, ring. I wish. I'm actually working on a few lines right now. One, a men's line, kind of. I'm just trying to figure out. Men's so hard for jewelry. Men don't really wear jewelry. They just like, wear watches and their wedding ring. Do you have anything? Good American flag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's something. Uh, I got a family crest and a wedding ring. Yeah, so yeah, it's a lot of the crests are popular. I know uh, my boyfriend Rod and his family are starting to get into the crests as well. But I'm I'm trying to find a niche. A lot of guys like the Cuban link chains. Do you know what those look like? A lot of the, a lot of the rappers wear them. They're just oh, they very do. thick gold. Yeah, um, but they're very expensive, so well, it's hard to. <laughs> when I was uh, a good prices. bit younger, back in in the college days, we all wore puka shell necklaces. They weren't oh. exactly valuable. <laughs> <laughs> were they real gold? But they were kind of like surfers. No, they were oh. white shells. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So we were like the nice. surfer crowd and everything else. Yeah. Like. So let's see. A lot of men wear bracelets sometimes now. Yeah, they definitely have been wearing more bracelets um, now more than ever. Guys are getting stepping a lot more into fashion now, mm -hmm. so I've been seeing that, which is why I've been kind of interested in taking the men's jewelry route. Okay, so let's get patriotic. You could do something other than just a plain enameled pin. You could yes. do something with some stones on it yeah, or for maybe sure. some uh, lacquer finish on it, something like that. People need to wear the flag more often. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I try support. to never go out without one in my lapel yeah. unless oh, I've awesome. got something else that I need to, like a security uh, number or something like that. Yeah. So... Uh, you got late hours at the Golden Diamond Source in anticipation of the Valentine's Day? Actually, coming? no. The hours haven't been pushed any later. So we are open till um, 6 and 7 right now. But yeah, so you have to come in when we're open and try to get stuff. Everything's been selling out right now because everyone's coming for Valentine's Day. So must be a big crowd down there. Yeah. Okay, stop for a minute. Now let's talk about the Golden Diamond Source, about you and about uh, uh, your mom and your efforts to. Uh, uh, to give back to the community. Hands Across the Bay is clearly one of the best uh, things we read about or see that's ha trying to help those in need. Reach out and help and lend a hand. Yeah, Hands Across the Bay has been amazing. It's been a part of our community for so long now, which is why I feel like Golden Diamond Source has such a big reach because my mom goes to so many charity events and just gives back in so many ways. So it's been amazing to kind of watch her do that, and I will hopefully um, do that as well, take part in her charity more when I get older and start my own branch of that because what she does in the community is absolutely insane. She's been going to a lot of court cases too with survivors, so it has been um, awesome watching her. So way back when I was in high school, um, there was a janitor there named Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee was everybody's friend. He was mm -hmm. never out of uniform. He was wearing pressed uh, navy blue uh, janitor's uniform with his name Jimmy Lee on his lapel. Um, was always reminding you that you should pick things up after yourself and don't forget to close the door. Mm -hmm. But everybody loved the guy. He unfortunately uh, uh, became ill and passed away at a long, young mm -hmm. age. But in this very uh, high-end private uh, day school in Wilmington, Delaware, they put up a plaque in his honor because they wanted to memorialize Jimmy's favorite saying. And I'm going to give you a copy of what it is. You can take it to your yeah, mom, please. please. Jimmy Lee died in 1956. And here's what Jimmy Lee said. And it reminds me so much of Hands Across the Bay and what you're trying to do in, in, in the community to help those in need. So Jimmy Lee said to look up and not down, to look forward and not back, to look out and not in, and to lend a hand. Oh, wow. But that's right that, out of the book of Hands Across the Bay. Wow, that, that really is. Wow. That's so let's get one other awesome. piece of nostalgia out there in front of you. Uh, it was either 2007 or nine, so long ago that I don't remember. Uh, but uh, it was the annual Dancing with the Stars Tampa Bay. Mm -hmm. Fabulous event. Yeah. It's one of the best. And not everybody knows how you get involved in Dancing with the Stars, but I got three phone calls uh, in the spring, and one of them was from Julie. Um, and the other two were just pounding me that <laughs> I needed to do Dancing with the Stars. And one of them kind of dared me. And I said, ah, dare me? <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. And I was uh, in Dancing with the Stars. We had a very aggressive field of uh, competitors. You get uh, 25, 45-minute dance lessons with your instructor, who is that's who dances with you one dance, not uh, like TV, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in front of you know just eight or 900 people. And yeah. you got to get it right. 
So I did it with my instructor and had a really good time. And I just got lucky. So if you'll forgive me for a minute, um, there are five awards. Um, one of the awards is Best Female Dancer. I didn't get that. <laughs> I got Best Male Dancer. I got Most Internet Votes. I got Most Votes That Night. And I got the Mirror Ball Championship. Yeah, you, you killed it. I killed it. <laughs> absolutely I nailed killed it. it. I nailed it. <laughs> And I was lucky. I would tell you that the that the bar was set low by my competitors, but I had one <laughs> or two that were pretty darn impressive. Yeah. I didn't do the jumping and swinging around. I did a formal um, a big band foxtrot, white oh, tie wow. and tails. The best thing that ever happened. A lot of fun. And uh, I know every year sold out. Yeah. I know there's a waiting list to become one of the dancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really a fun event. And so that's yeah. another part of the kind of logic that we uh, believe in at DuPont Registry Tampa Bay. You need to go out and help the community, those in need. Absolutely do it. But if you can have fun doing it, so you can have fun while doing good, not the best English, but have fun while doing good, you're going to get so much more enjoyable uh, enjoyment out of it. You know, one of the great fun things you can do, which DuPont Registry t uh, Automobiles does, Habitat for Humanity. Oh, yeah. They go spend the day hammering nails and putting things together and saws and cleaning up and sweeping, and you get that sense of satisfaction while you've been there mm -hmm. with friends that you've accomplished something. And you've benefited somebody who really needs a residence, and you're already in one. So why not help somebody get their own? Yeah, definitely. So how lucky we are to have Julie and you involved in the community and promoting the well-being of everybody here. Mm -hmm. So one more time, Emily, Lake, give me the overview commercial like you'd like to do on TV <laughs> for the uh, for the jewelry line. Yes, so Emily is my line, and it's very affordable. So as I said, it's between 100 to uh, $900, so very affordable, easy. Come in, pick out anything. I mean, your girl is going to love anything in this line. It's very trendy, cute. We have yellow, white, and rose gold. No matter what color she's wearing, we will have it. Um, the rings are great to stacking for engagement rings and just in general, like I have on my finger. So definitely come, down down, come on down to 3800 Alberton Road, Florida, and we will help you out. Wonderful. Well said and everything else. Now, one more warning for those of you ladies out there who happen to have a big budget, I might add. <laughs> um, Golden Diamond Source sells watches, collectible, yeah. absolutely brilliantly polished, cleaned up, mm -hmm. former owner watches. Mm -hmm. Rolex, Corum, you name it. Yeah. So if you need to get, you know, if your boyfriend's not on time, he needs a watch. You go down and get him a watch at Golden Diamond yeah. Source. Not anything that Emily Link is doing, but also something that, there that you might want to be interested yeah. in. And then, of course, I mean, it's like the same size as where all the jewelry is, is the room where you go to when you're picking out your wedding ring and your engagement ring and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And how many people are there working trying to decide how much money the board groom is going to spend on the bride? Yeah, a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and you can go customize the stone, the ring, yeah. the setting, anything you want. Yeah, everything you can customize. We actually, you can actually draw out a ring and our custom designer, Daryl, can make it for you. So really anything that you need for jewelry needs, we offer at the Golden Diamond Source. Well, I hope and my wife is not listening. <laughs> anything you need. <laughs> anything. And we have seven, seven jewelers on staff, meaning that you don't have to ship out your ring for cleanings, for checking the stones, any sizings, replacements. We all we do it all at the Golden Diamond Source. No charge to you if you shop with us. And it's just nice to know that it's not shipped somewhere, going to get lost in the mail, stolen. It's all in our house and our trusted family jeweler. It's it's a phenomenal place to go and just look around. There's just the most beautiful jewelry mm -hmm. everywhere. Now, mm -hmm. uh, one more comment I had for you. Most uh, The most popular shape of a stone for a wedding ring now, marquee, square cut, Oh. So my cousin Sarah is saying that it's the heart year. Everyone's getting heart engagement heart, rings. Heart-shaped diamonds. But um, I would say the most popular is the round. Round's round. always been the most popular, probably always will be. But hearts are coming in now. Hearts are in temporarily. Yes. Well, you, <laughs> you know, a heart diamond, you, you, you need a heart diamond to wear this time of year for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. And then you need a regular round cut diamond to wear the rest of the time. Exactly. So... <laughs> You know, that's easy shopping. You just get two rings. Um, they're not two for the price of one. <laughs> uh, but also, I might add that this is very affordable jewelry here. Yeah. But even the Golden Diamond Source, most expensive, extraordinary diamond cluster ring, whatever it is, is not that expensive when you no. compare it to what the rest of the world oh. is charging. It's a great place to go because the bargains are there as the, and the value is there. Mm -hmm. Because you do have, you are a gem, gemologist. You're one of how many? One of seven at our store. Seven mm -hmm. at the store. Yeah. So you got people there who know 
jewelry, they know stones, they know gems, they know what's important, and they can really guide you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so when are we introducing the greens and the reds and the and, and into the Emily? Yes. So actually, I was supposed to do a colored gemstone line first. That is coming next. Well, I have very affordable colored gemstone pieces for people to wear and stack because I love color. Color is definitely my thing. So I'm very much looking forward to making that line with my cousin Sarah as well. It's going to be called Emra. So the color will be introduced soon. Definitely, we'll have. The sapphires, emeralds, and rubies, the big three, because who doesn't love those? So um, let's see. If you're going to get a men's line, you probably could use the name Steve Link. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of the boys if you yes, got Steve Link. Yeah. And anyway, we'll come up with something. Yeah, you need to make it sort of rugged. Yeah, I'll give bit. you a call me when we're Call me, names. yeah. I'll do some <laughs> research for you, get you a good name. Thank Maybe you. Maybe uh, registry uh, gemstones. Yeah, could, hey. Could make it. I could go in the jewelry business. <laughs> exactly. I would never do that. Hey, you can you can customize some pins. Yes. Some, <laughs> some flag pins. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you learned a little bit about a great line of jewelry that you can afford and that you want to be with it in the in and you want to be fashionable and you want to be in the know. Exactly. It's a great way great way to celebrate Valentine's Day or any holiday or any um annual celebration, birthdays, anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, you know, there's a day to celebrate almost every day. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is just beautiful stuff. And it just mm -hmm. intrigues me that it's in a line that is now reached down and become more affordable so that you can start with this. And as your life progresses and you uh, uh, and have the next uh, Internet invention, uh, you can move right along. But let me tell you something. If this is the first gift you give your girlfriend or your wife, um, she's never going to get rid of this because this is memorable mm -hmm. and it's perfect. And you may ultimately buy her a $100,000 diamond, but she's going to keep these, whatever you give her out of this line, forever because it came on an important day. And it, the line has history and provenance because it's part of the golden diamond source and part of Emmy Link. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So once awesome. again, folks, you know where they are in Alberton Road in Clearwater, St. Pete, just over the bridge off Alberton Road in the Gateway area. We hope you'll go there and be sure to use our name, DuPont Registry Tampa yes. Bay, so that they know where you heard about all this. And that's going to end it, wrap it up here right at the end of our broadcast for today. So thank you for listening in. We look forward to seeing this on YouTube and on SoundCloud and a couple of the other platforms. We know that you'll share it with oh, everybody. Oh, definitely. And we're going to get a lot of exposure that way <laughs> because we know what kind of audience Julie and Golden Diamond Source and now Emily has. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have uh, um, another uh, podcast next week. Uh, DuPont Registry uh, Tampa Bay Live. So we look forward to seeing you again. Once again, Tom DuPont and Emily coming to you from the DuPont Registry World Headquarters in St. Petersburg, just mm -hmm. off of Elmerton Road in the Gateway area. So go out and make it a great day, Tampa Bay. <music>